IMF, blaming it on lack of funds and advice from Treasury to tender the process. Appearing before the National Assembly's Committee on Education, TSC CEO Nancy Masharia said that the Commission will require more than 20 billion per year for their members to be on the national scheme. And as Emily Chebet now reports, Masharia had a difficult time explaining why the private medical scheme segregates teachers according to their job groups instead of giving them equal cover. Teacher Service Commission CEO Dr. Nancy Masharia told the National Assembly Committee on Education that the contract signed between the Commission and insurance provider Minet was a result of a directive given by the National Treasury. Responding to questions from members of the committee who sought to understand how Minet has been winning the tender since 2015, Masharia said the Commission followed a due process. The teachers of this republic wanted to know what are the terms of the contract, how was it entered, how is it beneficial to them, how is it assisting them, how is it making sure that the teaching learning process is actually being done well. Teachers really wanted to go to NHIF. We came to this committee, but again the money was not available and we were told by the National Treasury to advertise. So we advertised. The Julius Melly led committee took a swipe at the teachers' medical cover over varied amounts questioning why job groups would apply even in access to treatment. Can you investigate from your end that the teachers who go for operations are allowed to be operated? Most hospitals, they do not not agree. How come when it comes to inpatient, the teachers are considered differently when it comes to payment? And just a teacher like another teacher. The way we treat the public servants. Because you see even house allowance is different. I think some of these things, even in the other public institutions, this is what happens. And But we are getting you. I think these are things that now must be looked differently. On recruitment and promotion of teachers, Masharia blamed the committee and members of parliament for failure to allocate funds as requested by the commission. We have a lot of outcry. The commission is seeking 2 billion Kenya shillings every financial year to manage the teacher's stagnation problem that has been a thorn in the flesh for several years. Last time we received money for promotion was in 20, 2011. That is the last time. Those of you who, are, who have come from class, you remember. And since then, we have never been given money to promote teachers. Even the one now we are, we are conversing here today, the, 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 the 13,000, that, is it 13,000? This is money that is recurrent. During the committee session, questions on the safety of learners and teachers in the northern part of Rift Valley where security operations are underway came up. We call upon the CS, uh, uh, Professor Kithure Kindiki and all and uh, other government, relevant government departments to consider gazetting teachers as essential service providers because either way, the directive of the president will greatly affect the education, education sector. TSC had been summoned to answer questions on the localization of teachers, recruitment, promotion and teachers' medical cover, among others. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV, Nairobi. President